Hi everyone, this is Wikiong. Okay, today um, this video will be doing uh, the setup of vCloud Director. As the setup is uh, pretty complicated, uh, I will not be doing a full recording on how to do it. You can actually refer to my blog, which most of the uh, prerequisites and all the steps um, are actually documented uh, with all the uh, knowledge base and other sites that I refer to. With all the prerequisites like certs and everything prepared, and also your database prepared, um, you will actually uh, uh, proceed to the next step. So before I begin, I'm just going to show you how my database is going to be like. Um, there are certain scripts that you need to perform um, to create the database. There are actually four scripts given uh, in the vCloud Director 1.5 installation guide. And this is actually to create a database, all right. Uh, with the database and log files being passed to a certain path, all right. And uh, the correlations are actually in Latin one generation CSAS. Okay. Um, and the second query actually does is to do um, amendments to make it a read commitment snapshot enabled, and the third one. Is actually to create the user. In my case, I'm calling it VCD uh, MGR, all right, and my database is VCD01. And the last SQL script given was to add the DB owner to uh, the user created. Do note that um, for vCloud Director 1.5, it now supports SQL 2008. In my video here, I'm using SQL 2008 R2. Um, also note that you have to specify this to be a SQL account. Um, so under this root directory that I'm going to, just going to show you, you have to enable the SQL Server and Window Authentication. All right. And you would like to set up the database um, manually. You can except for the authorizing uh, of the database to commitments. Uh, read only called Mimin snapshots. Uh, you have to use the script, which is for this portion that I'm just going to show you instead of uh, read committed snapshots. All right, instead of going through the GUI to set it up, which will be a bit uh, cumbersome. Okay, um, I'm just going to show you basically you can just do using the GUI instead of the script to set up the basic. Um, you can assign the user uh, to the owner after you create the account. Alright, and uh, you can see the initial size for the d database is 100 meg, the lock is 1 meg, both are of a growth of 10%. Okay, and uh, next is uh, the collation, and I'm just going to show you this one, the recovery mode. Uh, check with your database administrator for this. Alright, you can actually do bulk lock, full or simple. In here, we're going to do it simple as we don't want to keep the, it too big. Uh, permission wise, uh, it will be actually given to the account that we have created. Uh, all right, and uh, you can see that this is the alteration. If you got a key in, uh, it might take a while. Just pump in the script. I have actually put the, all the script on my blog, so you can uh, just do the amendments of the database name and account name and the password just to make the various changes. All right, that's it. And uh, for the account, what it does is that you actually disable the policies and you actually do use the account map to make it a DBO. Basically, that's about it. Alright, so that's all for database. Okay, so uh, there's also a requirement to install this RabbitMQ server. So you can actually do that. I'm not going to go through. Alright. So uh, you also have to do some cert importing. I have already done and I've documented in my blog as well. So the last step is to actually run the binary, which I already partially run it, and to configure. So based on uh, after running the script, I mean uh, the binary file of the vCloud Director binary, uh, you will be given uh, this command to run the configuration. So here we go. So I actually have two uh, IP address, 31 for my HTTP service and 32 for my console proxy. 
so here for the HTTP service I'm just gonna let it go default and uh, for the console proxy I'm gonna let it go as default and here I have to key in the third uh, key store where I actually place them um, inside this directory already oops sorry um, so we just gonna key in the key store Okay, enter the password for my key store. Alright, and here you can see that um, I managed to finish the key store. And okay, syslog server, uh, we don't have any, so I'm just gonna do skip. And I'm gonna press 2 for SQL server. Alright, and enter the host of the SQL server. In my case, uh, right, I'm just gonna pl put the IP address. Uh, alternatively, you can actually use the host name as well. Okay, I'm just gonna enter the host name for this. So make sure you actually have the server uh, done properly, I mean for the DNS, uh, host them to be taken care of, if not you might have some problem here. Okay, I'm just gonna leave everything as default in this case. Okay, the database is actually bcd one in my case. And uh, my default SQL server name, um, mine has some changes. Okay, enter the database name. In my case, it's BCD Manager. And the password. Okay, now the connection will go. Oh, let me rectify this and come back again. Okay, I have found out my problem. Um, also, while solving my problem, I realized that my IP address was wrong. So, I have just amended it uh, to 31 and 41. Okay, so here I'm just going to specify the key store and I'm gonna have a syslog as usual too and have to FQ the end we leave the database port as default bcd01 is my database name my instant name is vmwsql and uh, vcdmgr is my username and my password okay this time it go through what happened is that i have turned on windows firewall on my sql server so this is something you do have to take care and uh, do note about it Alright, uh, once you enable it, you will have a problem. Okay, so as you can see, everything is now started. Do I want to start now? I'm just going to put yes. As, uh, and we ask if you want to start the watchdog. Alright, and uh, the watchdog started, it started, alright, so everything is now started, and uh, we are have to test this out.
Alright, to make sure that everything is working, I'm just going to use my browser to just uh, test this out. Right. Here, I'll go to the vCloud director IP address directly. And you can see that we already have certificates prompting us. Okay, I need Adobe Flash, which I didn't install. Um, just give me a moment. Uh, okay, we will need Flash for the vCloud Director Console. So you need to install Flash Player. If not, uh, you will not be working. And um, for certain companies that does not have direct internet, you may have download the offline package. The URL keep changing, so I won't be listing this in the blog. I believe you will be able to look for this uh, by just go googling the latest uh, updated link. And it seems like everything is working. All right. Um, here we carry on the configuration. Okay. Here is the guide. We're just gonna go through this. Accept the. Uh, End user agreement. I'm not going to enter any license here. Uh, okay, we do have to provide the license. Alright, um, I'll do a pause to enter the license and we'll move to the next step. Okay, I've entered the license and have proceed. Okay, so now I have to enter a credential. And I'm just going to enter the password. And I'll just use my own name and proceed with my email address, which I'm just going to skip this uh, by pausing the video and click next. Okay, I'm just going to use. Uh, bogus email address and now uh, we need to specify a name okay we have to provide a name which will be creating a folder in our vCenter so in this case I'm just going to call it vCD installation I'll uh, just leave it as one every single vCloud writer will require a different uh, installation ID and a summary and uh, we'll click finished And we are done. Just to make sure, we just do a lock in. And yes, we have complete the installation of the vCloud director. Drop me any comments or uh, if you have difficulty on anything that you're unclear of, just drop me a comment and I'll reply accordingly. Thank you.